What's going on guys, Too Fast Joe here. In this video, my friend Generation Defenders and I are drawing Sonic characters, but with twists. You see, Generation Defenders do not know any Sonic characters. She only knows the basics, Sonic, Tails, Amy, but she doesn't know the more obscure Sonic characters. So I thought it would be funny if I described to her who these characters are and she got to draw them based on the description I give to her. And I'll be drawing too. But I know what she's thinking. Joe, that's not fair. You know who these characters are. True, but I'll be drawing with my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand. Why? Just for fun. Now, on to the video. Alright, so the first character that we're going to draw is a Scourge the Hedgehog. Alright. So basically, he is the evil Sonic from the evil universe. And just imagine, like, Sonic, but as a biker. He has a leather jacket and sunglasses and, like, sharp teeth. Okay. He's basically the badass version of Sonic. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, he really just Sonic, but just a biker and sunglasses. Alright. Alright. Okay. We're going to start the timer starting now. And he looks exactly like Sonic, right? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. He exactly like Sonic. Like I said, he's on the evil um, dimension. Uh, I, just, uh, I made my character really small. You said that he has fangs, right? Yeah, he had like sharp teeth. Is he like an emo or is he just like a biker? He's like a biker, but he has like a leather jacket, sunglasses. His leather jacket has flames on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, his the ends of his jacket is kind of like tattered, kind of like um, torn. The ends of his jacket. Oh. Yeah, like uh, the end of his sleeves. And he has flames. Yeah, on the on his shoulders. The shoulders. Yeah, like on his um uh, his shoulder uh, on his jacket. And his hair looks exactly like Sonic. Exactly. Hmm. He doesn't have like grease. No, exactly like Sonic. Like I said, this is the evil Sonic from the evil um universe. Also, he has like a scar across his oh. chest, like two scars. Oh, okay. On his chest or on his face? On his chest. Is it like an X or is it like a... Like two parallel um, uh, scars going across his chest. I don't know what's going on uh, with his fist right here, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> oh, time's up. Huh? Oh, God. <laughs> How's yours turn, Doc? Well, I guess I'll show you. <laughs> so, like, here what he's supposed to look like. I didn't get near. I keep going to movie Sonic style. That still looks good. Mm, no, it's not. <laughs> it's an abomination from hell. I mean, it's a lot better than mine, I'll tell you that. Alright. Alright, so... This next character is Mina Mongoose. She is a pop star in the Sonic universe. Uh, she has boots on, kind of like Amy's. She has a, like a uh, skirt, like a wavy skirt with, with a belt on, with her midriff showing. She has a top, uh, gloves that has spikes on it. She has, ha like, her hair is different from her fur color, and she has bangs, a headband, and she has earrings. Hmm. All right, I kind of get it. Yeah. No. If you have any more questions, let, just let me know. Cause I'm looking at the picture right now, but trust me, it will not help at all. <laughs> all right. All right. So. All right. Let me know when you're ready. All right. Timer is going now. Cause like recently we've been like watching a lot of Netflix stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you, you recommended me some stuff like Death Note and Shiva, which like I I love Death Note. Oh, yeah, like, that's, like, one of my favorite things growing up, too. Like, one of my friends in middle school was really obsessed with Death Note, and she was, like, married to Elle Lollett. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so, like, for a while, like, I uh, put it off to the side. But, uh, like, years later, I was just so bored, so I just decided, you know what, let's watch Death Note because, like, everyone loved it, too, at the time. And then I was just hooked on it completely. I, I, like, so, ever since I watched Death Note, I can't stop holding my phone like L. <laughs> like, every yeah, morning, I'll, like, see what time it is. I'll hold my phone up like L. Mm-hmm. Like, what I really like about Death Note is that 
it's not like any type of shonen anime even to this day it's like very unique oh yeah because i me and you we liked like dragon ball and you know fighting and stuff like that but this one and more like 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 uh, i want to say psychological but like there's a lot of talking Mm-hmm. They're like, they're a lot like, of mental game going on. Yeah, I would say, like, Dragon Ball Z is, like, the highest part of, like, my love for, like, action fighting and just, like, mindless, uh, you know, battling. While Death Note is, like, the other end of my spectrum where it's, like, I like to think, I like to, like, overanalyze things, and I like to, like, talk about philosophies, too. So it's, like, kind of, like, at the other end of my spectrum. Right. Is her, is her sh- skirt short or long? I would say it's short. Oh, time's up. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. Here's mine. And you use your left hand? Yeah. Are you sure? You, ch- you didn't cheat, did you? Bro, if I use my right hand, it would be ten times better. But that's not bad at all. It probably because I have smoothing on. Cheater. It's not cheating, all right? I'm using technology. And this is how she's hmm. supposed to look. Um, I don't think that's uh, a wavy skirt. I think that's like a different type of skirt. Uh, so uh, how did you do? Let me see how you did. Ooh, let me show you. Mm, it's not good at all. <laughs> it's, it looks good. No, it's not. Bullshit. I will all say right. one of her ears is more bigger than the other. Yep. I mean, you're doing uh, good so for those... like without any references. Oh, so those type of earrings you were talking about. Yeah, I don't know how to explain them. Uh, you know, like, the biggest hint would be, like, she's, like, a rocker. I said she was a pop star. Well, I guess well, she like is a bit... Sti- yeah, I guess she is a bit is of a like, rocker. Yeah. yeah. It's the next character is called Bean the Dynamite. Mm-hmm. So he's he's a duck with a uh, handkerchief. Hec- and uh, he had, he had like a thing for bombs and dynamites. He, he has Sonic shoes, which is exactly like Sonic shoes. Um, he has he's a duck. I mean, can, so he has Sonic gloves. He has bangs. We got a little spike at the at the end of his uh, back of his hair. He has Sonic mm-hmm. eyes. I mean, this, this character is uh, kind of basic. Cause the character is from the classic era, so basically, any any character from the classic era era would just look like Sonic. Hmm. So just just think of Duck Sonic. Okay. If, if that helps. It does not at all. <laughs> all right. All right. Time is starting now. Mhm. And the thing I recommended to you was My Little Pony. Oh uh, yeah. It, which is funny to me because like. Like months ago, it was me, you, and Katie. We were, we were all at, we were all eating out together, and then um, I recommended to you My Little Pony. Then you looked me dead in the eye and said, "No offense, <laughs> but I will never watch My Little Pony." Cut to like three months later, you're like, "Woo, Big Mac episode!" Yeah, because like Big Mac is like the best um, stallion ever. Yeah. Like I don't know what's about him. It's just like he doesn't really do much, but like I instantly fell in love with him. To be fair, they're not that main guy characters because like this is a, this is a girls show and like you only have like what like five guy characters. Yeah, I think there actually is five characters. Yeah. five male characters. Same thing with Shira. Like only like five mm-hmm. main guy characters in that show. Mm-hmm. So like the reason why I decided to give like My Little Pony a chance was because like I think around the time we were only watching stuff that I like, or at least like we were binge watching a lot of things that I recommended. So I felt a little bad that we were just only like getting, you know, stuff that I was interested. So I was like, you know what, since like you're giving the things that I like a shot, I should probably like return the favor. So I decided. (laughs) I'll bite the bullet and I'll watch this little girl show. Yeah, like if you don't even remember, I even told you like if you really want to torture me, we can even like watch My Little Pony. And you're like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, like we can. I'll give My Little Pony a shot. And you're like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes, Joseph, we can try it out. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm willing to give it a shot. And you're like, uh, okay. And then yeah. like you quickly pulled it up. And well, then yeah, you like I, jumped put, all. I put on uh, the season two finale because I, oh. I, me personally, I think like the, that's the best introduction for someone new. Mm-hmm. Well, first, like you showed me like the first 
couple of episodes and then like afterwards you're like okay let's watch the season two finale and then like that's when you started like also like giving me a lot of lore from my little pony too oh uh, yeah mm-hmm. yeah i remember i put the this the first episode on which was a two-parter so you could like get to know who the characters are and then we jumped to like the season two finale yeah and i'm like who the fuck is this like twilight sparkle has a brother w- who did yeah, well, to be fair, no one, like, that was the first time that they ever mentioned him. Mm-hmm. So, like, I love uh, him and Candace's, like... Cadence. Uh, yeah, Cadence as a couple, and I love their little demon spawn baby <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just really like babies, and I like how OP the baby is, and what a demon she is. Yeah. I just, uh, I don't know, it's just, like, I was surprised on... on my Little Pony, like, the first season took me a while to, like, get into it, but, like, I think the season two finale did sort of, like, to- like, how would I describe it? Like, it yeah, kept hook. me, yeah. Well, it kept me, like, you know, patient. Like, you know, just, uh, just wait, it'll get, like, really good later on. Yeah, it's like, it's like Steven Universe. The first season kind of eh, with, like, some lore bits, but, like, I would say, like, after season two, that's really, they really ramped it up with the lore and, like, um, story. Yeah, like, the episode Jailbreak, that's when, like, I feel like the real story starts to kick in. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, be- before that, I felt like that was more, like, prologue or, like, I guess, like, when Lapis came in, you could also argue that's when things started to get good. But I think it's when Jailbreak, that's when, like, everyone got hooked on the show. Yeah. Is he, does he have, like, a pot belly? Um, uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, mm. Like I said, he's basically Duck Sonic. Sonic doesn't have a pot belly. I'm trying to think, like, no, no, he doesn't. But yeah, he just Duck Sonic. Oh, time's up. Mm. I'll show you mine. Aw, it's cute. And this so what, cute. And this is what he's supposed to look like. I was uh, picturing someone a lot older. No, he's kind of young. Like I said, this is like the classic era, so everyone looks a bit young. Oh, I thought he had... I didn't know he had shoes on. I should have, like, asked uh, yeah, he has if Sonic... he had any shoes. Yeah, I said he has Sonic shoes. I wasn't listening. Great. <laughs> All right. I will show you my version. I made him fat. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, like I asked if he had like a pot belly, and you said yes. And like this guy does not have a pot belly. Uh, I didn't know what a pot belly was. <laughs> D- then why didn't you ask? <laughs> That'd be funny just to say yes. Oh, that's awesome! It- <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's something, all right. He's uh, I I just imagine like Ducktales to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I was gonna say this looks like someone like a villain in Ducktales, like a minor character. Yeah, and he's just like, he's very overweight. <laughs> All right. All right. Next one. The next character. Let's do Neo Metal Sonic. Neo Metal Sonic? Yep. So this is Metal Sonic, but his upgraded version. He's a lot more edgier. He has more spikes. He has, like, his hair or, like, his metal, like, quills are a lot longer and more, like, sinister. He has, like, Pointy elf shoes that make sense. Hmm. He has he has like a uh, well, I like to describe it as a like butt cape. Butt cape. Think of like a like a trench coat, but like on your hips only. Butt cape. Yes, and he has like those sands like shoulder pads. Sand shoulder pads. Yeah, the sand. You know, like when you first see Vegeta, he has those those shoulder pads. Okay, those things. Uh, okay. He, ha- he has, like, ma- his whole body's metal. His his cheeks has, like, little metal spikes, and he has a, a metal uh, pointy nose. Hmm. Did he appear in uh, the Sonic and Mario Olympics? No. Uh, if anything, only his um, regular form, just regular Metal Sonic, but he did appear in Sonic Heroes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and this one, remember, this Metal Sonic was a lot more edgier. Think, just harness all that edge. Okay. (laughs) 
I'm probably thinking of something completely different from what you are describing. Just Metal Sonic, a lot edgier, butt cape, and sand shoulder pads. All right, let's uh, let's do this. All right, timer starting now. Also, uh, he has like um, racing stripes on his um, hair. What's that? Uh, uh, racing stripes. Oh, uh, racing stripes. Okay. Yeah. Everyone know racing stripes are super edgy. Mm-hmm. No, when you say that his hair is longer, is it like pointing up or pointing down? He has three spikes pointing up and two spikes pointing down. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see your yeah. reaction to this. Yeah. Also, he has like a horrible bit, monster. Also, he kind of have have a have a black metal dick. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even making this up. He does have, have a black metal dick just showing off this. I'll uh, I'll point it out, but uh, it's uh, it's right there. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be this is going to be like YouTube appropriate. Well, then don't, don't draw that. All right, don't draw it. Okay, he, but it's going to be in the video. <laughs> if you don't want me to draw it, you can't say <laughs> this. I'm just saying, like it is going to be there. Oh God damn it. Okay, mine's starting to look like something from the 80s or 90s. I mean, Sonic is from the 90s. But like this abomination that I'm creating. Oh, time's up. Damn it. All right, I'll show you mine. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wasn't even close. I'm I'm ashamed. I don't want to show mine. <laughs> so this is what he was supposed to look like. You should have said star hair. I, yeah, I could have. See, like, right here is, like, his, like, black metal dick. Oh, I drew something a little inappropriate. Oh, god damn it. You don't, you can't say that and expect me to be uh, mature about this. Uh, you just can't. I swear to god. All right, let's see what it is. Okay, so, like, I erased that part, but, like, I did draw it. <laughs> All right, so, like, this is, this is really retarded. <laughs> Really, really retarded. I want to destroy it. Just kill it with fire. I don't know what the fuck I was talking. I was thinking. Like, let's go to the next one so we can stop looking at this <laughs> horrible right, monstrosity. It looks, it looks good. No, no, you're being too nice. <laughs> like, let's just go to the next one, okay? Okay. All right, the next one. Let's. All right. Let's go. Let's do. This character is called Rosie the Rascal. Hmm. This character is, is the evil Amy from the same universe as the evil Sonic. Oh, the first one we made? Yeah. So this is the okay. evil crazy Amy. Alright. So her outfit is like the same thing as her classic outfit, which I'm assuming you know nothing about. Her classic outfit, like the one that we see nowadays. No, that's a modern outfit. Nope, her classic, I don't not her, know. okay, her classic outfit is a basically kind of like think of a of a ballerina. She basically wears a tutu. Hmm. Uh, it's like a yellow, uh, yellow. Well, not, I'm not explain the colors, but like it's like a yellow tutu, and like above it is like she has like those sh the shoulders are like little like puff balls, like little like poof to them. Okay. Um, her shoes are like little kid shoes, like the shoelaces. Um, and, and her hair is is just like Sonic's, but it, it's a shorter. And she has a uh, headband, like a hairband. Mm. And she has three um, bangs coming out of the top of her hair. Okay. And she's a, a lot crazy. She's a psycho. Okay. And her hammer is like a green pointy hammer. Okay. Alright, so, ta so like, think of, you know, ballerina, tutu, crazy, psycho kid. Alright. Alright. And timer starting now. <laughs> okay, so, like, uh, I know you saw, like, the game theory for Hello Puppet, right? But have you started seeing, like, the gameplay for it? Not yet. Oh. You should start, like, at least uh, watch Docco, because, like, he goes into, like, more detail on his... Uh, gameplay like he doesn't edit it out he actually like shows you how every single step he went through 
when he plays Hello Puppet. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Um, But uh, if you're like in a hurry, then I would say watch Super Horror Bros version of Hello Puppet. But he also has like a, a video describing the lore of Hello Puppet too. Like he goes into great detail about that. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Hello Puppet is like kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's, but instead of animatronics, it's just uh, evil Muppets. So instead of Chuck E. Cheese, you get uh, like evil Kermit. Hey, hello, everybody! I'm going to steal your soul. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Or like uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's really short, but the ending will like make you cry. Or if you like watch game theory, it'll like really freak you out. Yeah. Mhm. But like, I really like it because like I really like horror games, and I just like uh, watching horror games that also has like a lot of lore into it. That's why I kind of do l- like watching uh, theories at least for Five Nights at Freddy's. But I've just sort of stopped. Uh, with the gameplay of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, it's like I like the lore in like horror games and I like, see why did this happen, why did this happen. It's really interesting, but I can't do horror games myself. I just like the feeling of the the jump scare waiting. It's like uh, even when I watch people play, I'm like, is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Ah. Uh. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was like that too. Like when I first watched uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, I was watching like Markiplier play, and there was like this one night. I think it was like night five where he was playing through it and he forgot to check on foxy but he was distracted by phone guy and then he forgot that you're supposed to check on foxy and then like foxy like comes in jump scares him at like the most creepiest part of phone guys that uh, talk and when that happened like i threw my phone to the wall like screaming and like that <laughs> freaked me out uh, <laughs> that's hilarious yeah like i yeeted it out like i was just that freaked out when <laughs> i saw that and uh, for a while, I did not want to, like, go anywhere by myself, especially at night. I was just, like, curled up in my room, just sort of, like, checking out any shadows or anything. How old were you? Don't make me say it. I was a freshman in high school. <laughs> uh, that, that, like, when I was, like, uh, when I was, like, a young teenager, like, oh, when I was, I would say, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be really afraid of balloons. Not, like, the balloon itself, but, like, when it pops. And I remember mm. one time when I was, like, a teenager, I was blowing up balloons for, like, a birthday party, party or whatever. And uh, I blew blowing them up. One of them just popped in my face. And I just had, like, the instinct just to start crying. Aww. Like, I didn't cry, but I felt like there should be tears rolling down my face. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, uh, I'm not afraid. I don't. Uh, get freaked out by like the pop of it it bothers me but what I really hate is when like somebody like squishes the balloon and it does like that really annoying yeah like that irritates the fuck out of me I met one time I went to go see Godzilla and for like the previews of it um, the previews were showing and it was it and I would just hide behind the popcorn because I can't handle it mm. you can't handle Pennywise I don't like clowns, and plus, uh, I, I just the thought of a jump scare just coming out, it just just <laughs> freaks me out. You should have seen me. I was trying to like hide behind a popcorn. I was trying to like make my shoulders go up to my ears, even though it's that's not physically possible. <laughs> oh, time's up. Boo. All right, so here's mine. <laughs> oh, I think I was kind of close. All right, and here what she's supposed to look like. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean by the pointy mallet. I think this was the one that I was the closest to. Let's see it. Oh, that's but really like, I made her... That's really good. Thanks. But I made her look too nice. When you say crazy Amy, I just I can't imagine her like that. Oh yeah, this one is the complete psychopath. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah just that. think of Harley Quinn. Mm. Yeah. I think this is like the closest I've ever been so far. All right, next one. All right. Yeah. All right. So the last one is my favorite. <laughs> this last character is called Sonic Man. Oh my god. <laughs> he's a human pretending to be Sonic, and he's a he's a superhero. Um, you know what that actually reminds me of? 
Oh god, I already know what you're gonna say. Yep. The pulverizer from TMNT. God damn it. Mm-hmm. And ironically, is didn't you say that he wasn't voiced by Sonic? Yeah, he one of yeah, the Sonics? He, yeah, he voiced by Sonic Boom Sonic. I completely forgot his name. I'll throw his name up on screen right here. But yeah, uh the pulverizer and boom sonic and basically Mars Sonic are the same voice actor. Oh, cool. So So I gotcha. <laughs> But this character is completely different from the polarizer, all right? This one, he, this guy is in shape. He has the, the, the class, he got the classic Sonic shoes wearing like denim jeans. He has a white t-shirt with the classic Sonic logo on it. He has a helmet that looks like Sonic with like an aviator on it. Well, not aviator, uh, like a, like a visor. Mm-hmm. So think of, uh, Captain Falcon and Sonic mix. Mm. Okay. But it, it looked like this guy just got some Sonic shoes and a Sonic helmet and put on his Sonic shit and pretended to be a superhero. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so do with that as you will. Okay. Ready? All right, timer starts now. You should watch SAO. I don't know. Like, if you really, really want me to, like, watch SAO, okay, I'll give it a shot, but... We, I didn't can, really, we can watch GGO, yeah. which is like the um, the the spinoff series. Mm. It's just like I couldn't really get into like the first uh, season of Sao. That's like, like the, the first... best. That's like the best one. That's what I mean. Like, if I couldn't get into like literally the best season of Sao, I don't know how I'm going to get into like this other season of Sao. Yeah, it makes sense. But GGO mm-hmm. is different because it's all new characters. It takes place in the same universe, but completely new characters. Hmm. Maybe I'll give like that one a shot. It's just that. Uh... Okay, so like the hype of Sao. That's what killed me. I just uh... everyone kept on going on about like how awesome Kirito was and how awesome Kirito and Asuna were as a couple. So like everyone was hyping it up so much. So, like, I had, like, really high expectations for it. And I have a theory. If uh, nobody told me or, like, hyped it up for me so much, I think maybe I would have liked it. Maybe I would have even thought it was okay. But because, like, everyone kept hyping it up, I just didn't like it that much. And I just thought that it was just kind of, like, overhyped. Or, like, what's the word that I'm trying to look for? Um, Your expectation was too great for the show to uh, achieve. Yeah. Like, uh, I remember when, like, it came out, I was pissed because, like, I thought Kirito was just way too OP and he was way too much of a flat character. So, like, I was pissed if somebody, like, said, oh, Kirito is the best character ever in our anime. And I'm like, no, he's not. But as years uh, went by, I calmed down and I realized, um, it's okay for if somebody likes to put if somebody likes Kirito, like I would still describe him as like a flat character. But I mean, like I love Dragon Ball Z and Goku is like the flat character of all anime. Oh yeah, and I still love him like crazy. I think the thing is with Seo, it just that uh, throughout most of it, it's just Kirito. Like, like yes, we'll have like seen on and uh, Asuna. Who like they'll help out every now and again, but it always been Kirito. Like with Dragon Ball Z, there a variety of characters. Like yes, Goku will get the the win at the end, but you still have all these varieties of characters. With Kirito, it's uh, with Sal, it's just Kirito, and he's like the one guy. Like yes, they're like his uh, other friend, but like they barely show him at all. Like he's barely in any episodes, and yeah, Kirito has like all his harem of anime women, including yeah, like, his own sister. I know, like that's. That freaks me out, like, especially that part two, especially since, like, everyone kept on, like, saying Asuna and Kirito are the best couple ever, and I saw this, I was like, what, what, what is this shit? Like, what, 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 why is his sister into him? Like, what, what is this crap? What did I get it myself into? I just, uh, I don't know, it's just, like, what I like about SAO is the art of it or at least like the coloration of sao oh yeah like like the character designs or like at least like the drawing style 
it's not as impressive as let's say like Attack on Titans or like other types of anime, but the coloring of it and like how this world looks. Is really beautiful. Uh, it's visually gorgeous, especially in SAO one, where you have like different levels, and like each level is so different from the last, and each one is so beautiful. Yeah, like that's what I did like about the anime. Like it's really beautiful to look at. It's just that I didn't really, I couldn't just get into the characters as much, and I think that's the part that's really important to me. Like it's the characters that sells me. In any t- sort of show. Oh, time's up. All right. Here's mine. Oh, cool. I think I was actually kind of close. And here, where he looks this like this one too. Ta da! Is that from an actual Sonic uh, show, or is it like it, this? Is from Sonic Oh Six. He's a side character where it's like you, your mission is to like you just race him. Oh, okay. I think I was close. Oh, yeah. I tried to give him, like, a Superman type of body, though. Pretty much. Uh, I like the uh, Sanic on his shirt. Yeah, I wanted to be creative. Thank you for joining me. Uh, Go check out her channel. Hey, guys. So, my channel is Generation Defenders. It's about, like, a webcomic that I'm making about these four little kids who get sent off into a space and land in this mysterious planet where they meet a mysterious foe. Check it out if you want to see what happens next. The link will be in the description box down below. This has been Too Fast Joe. Remember, go fast, don't be last. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching, y'all. I just want to say, I started streaming. Generation Defenders and I are going to play every single mainline Sonic game. Well, we're going to try to, at least. So, if you don't want to miss when I go live, make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you'll never miss a live stream or a video.